Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly reading for October 24th to the 30th. This is for Scorpio, Sun, and Rising, and if you're new to my channel, I do a traditional cultic cross spread. I also use astrology and my guides to help bring a lot more clarity and to get more specific with your reading. Now, Scorpio, I do that because I want you to feel like this is a personal reading rather than a general spread. Now, Scorpio, listen, this is it. We're here, all right? We're here. We made it. I've been talking about this for quite some time now. This is your season so first of all happy birthday scorpio okay happy birthday you deserve all the best in the world all right i love you i love you so much now secondly scorpio this week it is oh my goodness a very intense week because not only on sunday is the sun going into your sign and venus is going into your sign we have that major 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 solar eclipse in your sign as well all right on tuesday listen this is big and then mercury's going into your sign at the end of the week i mean this is a big week if you're new to my channel i put all the key astrological dates in the description box if you want to follow along um there's all there's almost something happening every day this week very intense week especially because scorpio you know you're a very intense passionate sign all right and so this basically this week is all about you all right it's all about you it's all in your first house all right uh your identity uh you thinking about uh what's going on in your life a lot of new beginnings too okay and of course you're a fixed sign and so this is uh eclipses are game changers all right so they bring a lot of new energy and new activity just think of like a new moon that's like times a hundred but let's go ahead and see what's going on for you for this week scorpio sun and rising uh yeah i'm very excited to see what's going on um october 24th to the 30th now like i said earlier scorpio i do a traditional cultic cross spread it's what my clients prefer if you want to book a private reading you know where to find me secondly scorpio um i have to say well one i don't do reversals if the shadow side does uh if my guides need i need they the message does come through that i need to talk about then i will definitely talk about it um thirdly what was i gonna say um oh i love you <laughs> that's it yeah i you know it's so funny because i know i mentioned this in another one of my readings i have so many scorpio friends that y'all clear out my bank account okay so i have about six friends whose birthdays are between uh like october 22nd to like the, uh, the 28th all right the very first decan uh, um uh first uh week of scorpio season and so <laughs> i spent a lot of money this week all right so scorpio listen i love this for you okay i love this for you and we're i love this okay we're gonna get there we're gonna get there we're gonna get there and i love this um so hi you got the moon all right you got the moon in your past area so it looks like you did go through some moments that were probably a little emotionally distressful all right uh is it distressing or distressful do you know what i mean uh you could have also been uh in a place where you were a little worried and concerned and maybe had a little bit of fear about your future all right now listen scorpio it's fine because we all go through these emotional moments especially because you see the dog and the wolf here representing evolution we have to go through these emotions to evolve okay but the bigger message here is some of y'all and this happens a lot during any signs birthday season okay when we start approaching our birthday season or when we're in the middle of birthday season we have all those questions what's next what's what what am i doing and you know a lot of things come up so i want you just to be uh you know tap into your intuitive side right now all right it looks like a lot of y'all did um and the reason I say that, well, A, is because you did get the moon. And then, you know, y'all are very intuitive anyway, all right? Y'all are water signs, okay? And so, uh, never, it is, you know, uh, it, it, so powerful to, to just hold, be very intuitive. Because when we are intuitive, we can make clear, sound uh, decisions. We can trust ourselves. So, 
that's one thing but it does look like y'all are coming from a place where some things were a little emotional for you all right think there could have been you know certain situations that have happened or even just you having doubts moving forward now here we are in the heart of your spread you did get the two of wands okay and so it looks like you do have this new uh vision you do have this new idea of like uh, uh what you want for yourself okay now the two of wands listen the one thing about him is like sure he's standing at a high point in the castle all right he has a really good perspective he's a really good view all right vision as well but and also the globe in his hand right but as you see that he has one foot in the door one foot out so uh some of y'all may not be ready to move forward with some uh, ideas or you know uh, things that you want to manifest that's fine some of y'all are still in the planning phases of or stages of that that's cool too okay that's cool you have so much time you're fine we're just entering Scorpio season okay but just remember there are gonna be some changes and there are gonna be a lot of new beginnings for you okay and there's more affirmation here showing that we'll get to that in a minute though because the one reason why I asked you earlier, trust your intuition, okay? Please do that this week because you did get the hermit, but you got the hermit in your challenge area. And as we know, the hermit is someone who's made a lot of achieve achievements and accomplishments. He's climbed the top of the mountain. And now he just wants to be alone with his thoughts, thinking about what's next. So here's the thing. This is why I say trust your intuition is because you can see that he's holding a lantern, but with a lantern you can only see so far how do you see further than that how do you see further into the future into what you want long term you look inside that's where the light is it's inside you so when i say just really focus on your intuition and really just you know focus on you for now you'll be golden you'll be golden that's going to bring a lot of the insight if you're still in this place of uh not sure what to do next that is what's going to bring that clarity for you okay now you did get the wheel of fortune all right in your crown so the wheel of fortune is you know the wheel of fortune is a ruled by jupiter we know jupiter's in your sixth house right now okay that's daily activities that's work that's labor even pets okay and your health all right so you're looking for luck in some of those areas all right and so the wheel of fortune is about luck it's also like you know redeeming our karma points right this is a big card of karma but uh it's also fate and destiny and i say fate and destiny because they are two very different things but scorpio you are here you are a fixed sign you see the four fixed signs in the corners of the universe okay they're all reading the book of wisdom they're all reading the book of knowledge now listen there's a and, and i said earlier about you know some of y'all just really want that luck and you just want that you know want things to work out for you know the things that you're invested in and passionate about and that's good but listen again put some action into it we can't always rely on 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 luck but um jupiter by the way it, again uh i keep the key dates in my description box jupiter is going back into pisces at the end of this week all right but that's only gonna be for like two months and that's going back into your fifth house okay and so that's good for you and i love that for you because the fifth house is the house of pleasure so the house of love all right we're going to be revisiting you are going to be revisiting a lot of things love creativity family uh things that are really important for you so there could be this uh especially with this eclipse energy that's happening something that really comes to fruition toward the end of the year for you all right in those in those areas but listen you also got the eight of wands in the root of your spread so um it's really interesting here because there is a part of you that really just you know it's almost like some of y'all have felt like there's been a lot of delays or things are just not going fast enough for you. Uh, you want things to go a little bit faster. Uh, listen, that's cool. But still, with the two of wands in the heart of your spread, you've gotten to a point and just spend time planning it, all right? Spend some time planning it. And yeah, it looks like it is 
uh, not only money related and wealth related, but I mean, clarified, you got the King of Pentacles here. And so listen, when we think about Pentacles, they're very earthbound, okay? And so it is money, it is wealth, but it is also tangible reality. It's our physical reality as well. And so when I say wealth, I'm talking about wealth in all areas of your life, okay? You can see the king here, he has his hand on top of the coin. That's very important. Really owning your wealth at this point, that's what you wanna do. Um, that richness, that you know joy and just feel of accomplishment and just sitting in that throne being very powerful on top of it all right and so look you got the fool all right in your future area so you're on the right path things are you know it's it's so funny because there's so much new newness happening in your life scorpio there's so much new energy new things passions manifesting all of that happening the full in your future i love it i said earlier this eclipse is going to bring a lot of change and a lot of new beginnings and this is your affirmation okay the full is first of all zero all right not even in the number look let me scoot on over for you um zero what is zero zero is nothing all right but then when you think of it in a very objective sense, zero is everything, right? And so this is infinite possibilities. This is infinite potentials. And this is new beginning, starting a new journey, embarking on a new journey, taking that leap of faith. So you are eventually going to start this brand new journey in some area of your life. Again, uh, it, you'll get a lot more clarity if you read your rising sign as well. But this is a lot about you here, okay? This is a lot about personal identity and your, you know, where you're heading personally, mentally, physically, emotionally. Take that leap of faith. It looks like you're going to because you did get the fool in your future area you see the sun you have the protection you have full abundance of the sun now i want you to remember that as well when the fool comes up i don't want you to just think f-o-o-l i want you to think f-u-l-l -L as well this is fullness of life all right this is your fullest potential i love this for you scorpio i'm so happy for you um let's uh, there's really nothing that needs to be clarified you're good just remember Tap in, okay? Tap in, spend that time, soul searching. Um, just really, really trusting your intuition at this point. That's gonna help you the most. All right, so Scorpio, let's get to your staff. Now, Scorpio, if you like this reading, it would be great if you like and subscribe. Uh, it really does help my channel grow. And uh, if you leave comments, you get bonus points because I love reading your comments. It makes me so happy. Um, and if you're not a commenter, leave, leave an emoji. You know, some people don't like to like whatever. Um, and I know a lot of people like me, like if I'm watching a YouTube video, what I actually just do it like while I'm walking. And so it's, I do it on my phone. I'm not even looking at this screen. So like, this is the time to just hold up your screen, press that like button, and then leave an emoji, a smiley face, a star, uh, middle finger. I don't care what it is. Just leave an emoji. And then again, Scorpio, if you're a, subscri a subscriber, you know I love you so much. I love you so much. You really make my day. Thank you for being here with me every week. And Scorpio, I have more good news for you, okay? Look at your staff. Look at your staff. Now, a lot of that, I, a lot of the things that I said earlier are now triple affirmation here, all right? So, Let's get started. You got the four of ones, okay? Uh, this is really interesting because um, where it falls in your spread, it really just feels like, I mean, you're just ready. You're ready for having, get, reaching this milestone moment. Uh, you're ready to just, you know, especially with Jupiter going into Pisces too, or Jupiter going back into Pisces for a little bit, um, back into your house of love. And family, hey. So, not only is this is a card of celebration, it's a card of milestones, okay? Uh, 
big energy of marriage coming through big energy of not even just marriage but like proposal engagements moving in with a partner that you've been seeing for like a long time uh there's a lot happening there all right that's it's something that you're wishing for it's something that uh, you know again you can manifest whatever you want you have to be active you have to you know just really really uh, gratitude is like one of the biggest things, right? As long as we're open to that and having our energy levels at a really high frequency. But I love that you got the four of ones. I love that you got the four of ones. So you're looking to have a milestone and you can have it all. Scorpio, you got the knight of ones, okay? You, in your external factors area, it looks like this is very transformative energy here, actually. Uh, one um, among these cards one of the highest is bringing this huge transformation and one of the reasons i say that is because knights are fire all right so are one so this is double fire i mean you can even imagine that's fire coming out of his helmet all right now this is almost like uh you know he's just really charging forward really going after his passions really going after the things that he truly wants the things that makes him happy the things that's going to really fulfill him the things that's going to get his you know creative juices flowing. just he's really just boom i love that energy for you okay i really love that energy um it's in your external factors area someone could come through for you to to really help you in that situation uh you know if you're starting maybe let's say you're, you want to start a business you know there is you know people that could come through maybe like a legal team or some uh, uh consultant or something or you know but in any case in any aspect of your life yeah you're good scorpio <laughs> come on you just come on clarified you got the 10 of cups all right we and listen scorpio i haven't even gotten to the best part of this spread yet okay so again in your external factors area now i already said that jupiter is going back into pisces for two months that is your fifth house okay love uh, uh family and uh even creativity but the house of pleasure but at the end of the day look at this this is happy life happy home happy family this is you can see look the, the cups, all 10 cups arranged in the rainbow, the only rainbow in tarot, rainbow indicating a promising future. All right. So you're really going, I mean, you're going to, you're fine. You're, in fact, you are going, this is, I love this for you, Scorpio. I really do. I want you to know that you deserve all of this. You deserve all of this. I know that y'all have been going through ups and downs. I do your reading every week and every month. I know this. And so I'm actually going to start crying because I'm very happy for you. This is such a great reading for you, especially, you know, because this is your month. This is your week. This is your time. And this is fully just pure joy, satisfaction, everything, everything, everything. Just really just that happiness on a whole other level. Um, you're gonna you're getting to that point uh very soon because this is the end of the ten is the end of this suit and it brings this new beginning so you have a lot to look forward to is what i'm saying so now as i said earlier and i mentioned this because it was a message coming through from my guides but it was also coming up in your reading and you got the high priestess all right so when i said earlier just trust your intuition and focus on that come on you got the high priestess all right she uh well first of all it looks like that's what you want to do so it's not it's as if like i don't even have to tell you that it's like you know it uh so just consider this like a gentle reminder but um the high priestess she really just shows up when she needs to tell you listen trust your intuition now that's gonna bring that deeper knowledge okay this is she is the guardian of the subconscious like you are so good i cannot even like Oh, we love the high priestess. Uh, she is, I mean, this is like intuition on a whole other level. Like, come on. I love this for you. Now, Scorpio. I I wish, I, you know, I need to add like, uh, like music tracks to my videos because that would have been a good moment. Boom. Your final outcome card. You got this star. Okay. You got this star. Now, I talked earlier about fate and destiny um, being two different things, but listen, 
you are on your path all the stars are aligning for you now okay scorpio this is in your final outcome this is our hopes and dreams coming true this is faith this is uh the stars aligning in your favor okay for everything that you've hoped for all right uh this is in your final outcome i love this for you this is a card ruled by aquarius you can see the water bearer the funny thing is she is pouring the water on the land too but it's working okay and so that is going to be this verdant beautiful lush i mean your world is just going to be in a whole other place soon. Again, that is your final outcome card. Everything that is happening now is leading toward your hopes and dreams manifesting. I love you, Scorpio, and I love this reading. How? You almost brought me to tears, Scorpio. You almost brought me to tears. This, I, I love this for you. Again, you know, and uh, like, you know how I said earlier, a lot of my friends are Scorpios, like... I'm so happy for all y'all. Like, I I have some, you know, a lot of my Scorpio friends have been going through some challenging moments. So this is beautiful energy. This is one of your best spreads. I would even go as far to say this is your, possibly your best spread, okay? This, I mean, you're, you're good. You're great. You're amazing. Scorpio, thank you so much for tuning in. And uh, again, if you're new to my channel, it'd be great if you like that like button, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. And then uh, subscribers, you know I love you so much. Thank you so much for being here with me every week. Uh, feel free to leave comments. And I, I love you. I will see you next week. I know. I, I love you. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.